got we got risk it. He said, question, do exclusives matter? Yes. Yes. Depends on what you mean. Like, like does exclusive what matter? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it, it serves as brand identity for sure. No, no, no. That's a slippery slope there, bucko. And you know that, but you threw that little <laughs> trap card out there <laughs> expecting us to fall feet first into the trap card. Does exclusive matter for Nintendo? Hell yeah. Why? Because they're not drowning. Right? Does exclusives matter to Sony? Hell no, it shouldn't because they are drowning, bro. <laughs> like you looking over, they just lost $10 billion. Ask me the dude who can't pay his rent. Does every dollar matter? Yes, it does. <laughs> so yeah. put them gangs someplace else. So you asking the wrong question to the right guy. I'm gonna tell you right now, does exclusive matter to Microsoft? Not when they're trying to get back $100 billion. Not right now, no. They're trying to make that bread back. Now, a couple of these games won't go nowhere, but these games is all for show. We can put that all over the place. Sony need to catch up or they're going to be pushed out. Nintendo is the only ones that can tell, tell you our exclusives are going nowhere. Mm. And they have absolutely yeah. zero fear. So it's who you talking to. That question can form into a different thing. Mm. Yeah. What about you, mm. Scale? Oh, you already said, you already answered. Nova? Exclusives no, I, I think they definitely do matter. And uh, if you if you actually don't have enough money in the bank, if you just got a bunch of games just kind of hanging around, just sitting around, you know what I mean? And yep. you got to you got to get them games out. And you also need some something to draw people to you, like specifically. Yeah. You right. know, So that's where the exclusives come in. Come in. Yeah, I, th I do think like within the next 10 years, exclusive. I mean, exclusives is going to matter less and less. And it's all going to be about mm. ser services. I agree. Uh, whatever, I have the whatever, service war. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, whatever platform has the better service or has mm -hmm. the better heart or has the better specs is what's going to win the race because, yeah. Because we like, saw that right now with the streaming wars that we have been a part of that nobody was paying any mind to. Mm -hmm. We saw Hulu. We saw, we, first, we saw HBO, yep. Showtime, and uh, Hulu go at it. Hulu got folded up. And got slid into side uh, Amazon Prime. Wherever you can slide Hulu, that's where they at, right? So they folded first, right? Then you got Paramount Plus. Um, they're their own entity until they're about to be sold to Discover and then slide into something else. HBO folded. Showtime folded. They're into other services. They're going to be inside um, Amazon or Netflix at some point in time. We're going to watch those great. Uh, wars happen right now. Nintendo started their, their shop up. Microsoft already have a full running shop. Sony is trying to get their stuff up and going, but they keep having breaches and hacks and stuff like that. That won't build well. So I'm expecting Apple to either swoop in or Netflix to swoop in and grab them up. So we're going to see the great content wars happen in a second. Some people are built for it and some people aren't. I know exactly who's built for it. I know exactly who isn't. Yeah. That's a good take. I like it. I like it. Uh, thanks for the two dollar two Australian risk it a hundred percent. And then we got Lady Infamous hey. four one five. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "We love you, Delilah HD." <laughs> yep. Yeah, love you too, girl. <laughs> That's family right there. That's family yeah. right there. Hey. Thanks for kicking it with us, uh, Lady you. Infamous. And thank you for the $5 super chat. And then Bounty. Remember uh -huh. when? Mm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Enough respect. Wagwan. 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 <laughs> <laughs> with the $75 super chat. Bruh. That's all love, man. I got that's make huge. This one good. I gotta make Facts. this one. Good. Yeah. Ooh, Squeeze that navel. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze that navel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta practice off, you know, off screen. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. practicing. He's that man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh, man. <laughs> All right, yep, that's all right. <laughs> <Bounty>. <laughs> Appreciate you, kid, folk. 
A hundred percent. That's 75 in the coffers for the kids. Thank you. Trick, Thank you. trick love the kids. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. And then we got one more. We got Adidas 20 zero with the $5 Super Chat. I forgot to mention, along with the fast SSD PS5, we'll also have a haptic kickstand. <laughs> 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 I'm went throwing shots. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So oh, my God. Haptic kickstand. Hey, yo. <laughs> po- post up. Post up. Stop laughing, man. Man over here laughing. I can, I, can, I can hear him laughing through the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> thanks for the five dollar adidas swing zero appreciate that very much um yeah go on go on go on go on ahead uh nova uh i actually i'm just gonna go ahead and throw the same question to delilah um as as i said a little bit earlier do you think that this uh what do you think about this quote unquote exclusive exclusivity honestly like um until viking said it said something about ps4 like I thought he was just, you know, it was a bit of cap. Like, come on. Like, we know that if he used to place this game on, on PC, the sales would be significantly higher. Um, but you know, he he's gotta play the role, right? He they they've got a deal, so they gotta make sure they're in line with those agreements. He's gonna say what's necessary so he don't breach any contract or anything like that. And so that's how I looked at it. Um, but when you bring PS4 into play, it makes total sense if, if that's how he's talking. Like, we want to make a bigger world, be able to, you know, develop to the metal, as they call, you know, or to the system, the PS5. So um, that's why they feel that just doing that is beneficial as, a, as opposed to, like, supporting everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. I'll leave it there. Because, because, like, and correct me if I'm wrong, Delilah, because if, if this was, like, if this reigned true, right like our games can be more successful if we just stick to one platform like That's, wouldn't rockstar do it wouldn't everybody do it capcom you like, just yeah i feel like when you do that you're you're ignoring a, a whole like segment of people and demographic when you do that like clearly pc is is vast at this point yes. <laughs> it's like three to one more than that now um yep. so Hell divers, I'll let you know it's 20 to 1. <laughs> <laughs> but I messed it though. But, but it's um, a mess it though. But, but you gotta also I look at the fact that like you I don't I don't count people that don't necessarily play those games. Like you could say everybody, but everybody's not gonna purchase that game. It's right. gonna be a certain percentage. So that's why I say uh, three to one, but it's definitely it's definitely more than that. Um but yeah, I mean I I still can't. I just don't agree with what he says. So for me, it's, it's going to be hard to to even comment on it because I just I disagree with the the article itself and the timing of the article and mm-hmm. you know that whole thing. So yeah, because it seems like exclusivity is, is on its way out, man. To be honest, so and, well, uh, according to Nintendo. Yeah, well, Nintendo, not a, Nintendo, not Nintendo don't team. hear nothing you talk about. <laughs> <laughs> they on the same highway. They on the, they, they do their own thing. Yes, yeah. but it seems um, like uh, as far as Xbox and PlayStation, it seems like people people down to share. So they ain't got no choice. That's the problem. Like <laughs> Nintendo's over there with Nvidia. Like what? What y'all said? Your AMD dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess the biggest thing though is like a lot of people have more than one device right now like everybody either have a pc and a console or you know two consoles um so or their primary console and a switch like it's mm-hmm. yeah it's just yeah, the yeah. world we live in you know when you look at kids and stuff they got multiple devices or you know they're, they're not playing on console like they're playing on their mobile that's the first their world tablet. talk She's talking first world. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, true, though. You can't go world. nowhere. That's definitely the first world problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, you can't go nowhere. All the toddlers got tablets these days. I don't know, right? Every kid I've sure. seen, like, they looking down at something, whether it's a phone or, or a tablet. Mm-hmm. But, I'm like, hey, oh, man, get your eyes on this and shut up. Like, mm. like you know, because my, my nieces and nephews, like, they all, like, they have consoles and stuff, and... I mean, I got eight nieces, nine nieces and nephews, and oh. like only two Oof. of them use like console. The rest are on their mobile devices. Mm. So, aren't you lucky? 
Yeah. Like, cause you only got to buy co- games for two, two. All right, y'all, y'all, y'all playing your phone? Get out of here. All right, y'all two, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, look, and they all birthday. can play Roblox, though. Think about that. Chucky Joe. Mm-hmm. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> they, mind, they all about to be on Chucky. <laughs> Yo, and they can all play Minecraft. Like, so, so it's, it's, it's games like that, that, uh, you know, it, it transcends devices. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. And so, I mean, I, I get that whole argument too, but I still think exclusivity is important um, for like someone mentioned earlier for brand identity and for, you know, those that fanfare that you want to tap into um, <laughs> like your Halo gears and Forza, like, come on, we know that's <laughs> Xbox, you know, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's huge. That's huge. All right, King, what do you have? What's your final thoughts on this? <laughs> Sir? And, and here goes the grenade. I can see you powering up over there the whole time we was talking about that. <laughs> okay, so, so, so I'm going to do like they ask uh, this guy on the game show. Could you please refrain the question, please? Uh, I, I just oh. like to hear it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I got, I got you. I got you. So you. Uh, for this PlayStation 5 Final Fantasy 7 quote unquote success, they said that they hit due to the exclusivity of it being on one console do you what are the do you think that that's a good thing or you think that's a bad thing what are your thoughts on this i think that's a backhanded slap Uh, all right because uh what they're saying is the first game sold seven point something million in x period amounts of days right and this thing is not even close okay let's say the same period of time they sold 700 and something thousand in that three-day period of span, this one has only sold 226,000. Being that they are talking about generations, because now they believe in generations, right? Because they already got the PlayStation 4 crowd open on the fact that they was able to play this game. And now they took that from that fan base and told them either uh, blank or get off the pot type of thing. Get down or lay down. I think that's a bad way to look at it. I like Microsoft strategy. If a game can't be run on the Xbox One, you can stream it, right? You have cloud gaming, you have cloud computing, you have cloud stuff like that. But this goes back to the failure of infrastructure. The failure of infrastructure allows you to miss out on the opportunity to have that individual that's on a a device of your own making, not being able to partake inside your ecosystem. So you have excluded the individuals that have supported you with the first one and told them they were not good enough for the second one because you didn't think ahead far enough to make those people important. So this is the backhanded slap that you say to them that we're successful without you and you are not. All right, because you're trying to pee on me and tell me that it's raining. It is absolutely not. That is an absolute failure. It's an unmitigated failure. It's falling under the same lines of Final Fantasy 16, which trended higher than this game here. So you can't tell me that this is a success when you told me Final Fantasy 16 was a failure. So again, just because you like this one and it sounds nice in the press, no, we're not going to do that. So you're going to have to work your infrastructure better. You're going to have to include those uh, 120 million and not leave them behind because Microsoft found out a way how to do it. So you're going to have to find out a way. You got Gaikai, right? So what's up? You had cloud before them, right? How come somebody else can get cloud after you and invest in a cloud infrastructure, but you have the same amount of time and you don't? Why did you raise the price of your service, but don't give anything in your service for the people that is patreon in your service? This is the problems that I have with Sony. People think that I'm going at them for no reason. I'm going at them for the hundred and some odd people, hundred and some odd million people that are left behind that can't partake in this game. Now, in this economic crisis that we're in right now, you're going to tell me that I got to pony up 500 and some odd dollars for a game, uh, for a console and a game where all the game stops is closing and I can't get rid of this brick of a console that I got that is only worth $50 right now? Mm. That this dude probably got laid off from his job, but he paid for your service. So there's absolutely no way you're going to tell me that this is uh, consumer friendly, eco-centric friendly, or beneficial for Square. 
Don't you think Square wanted some type of sales? And I don't care if it's just streaming. But they didn't want to give up the bag to put that in the streaming service for them. They didn't want to give up the bag to have them develop them. And they're going to tell Square, oh, we'll come over there and help you develop it for the PlayStation 5. No, leave me the hell alone. Let me do what I did the last time when I got more money than I'm getting right now. You're going to tell me I'm getting less money now and it's a success? That's bull. Because if you work the same way at your job and your boss coming in and give you half your check, you you're going to go at his throat. So don't tell me it is a success because it isn't. It's a failure and it's a backhanded compliment to anybody reading that article. Just Damn. saying. Damn. Bro, drop. if I didn't have to... Yeah, if I, if I didn't have to talk on this mic... I would, yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I, almost dropped, I almost dropped my own mic. <laughs> Damn. Okay. But that, hey. That's hey. part of my video later. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> no notes. I ain't got no notes. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Mikey? Um, yeah, I think I went first. I think, but, I, but I'm a piggyback on King. That is true, man, because I can use my Xbox One to stream Xbox Series S and X games. Yep, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Neither did I. Man. Which, which, which kind of was still keeps me in the loop. That's nuts. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to flight simulator. Yeah, hey, that's that's all me, yeah. baby. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, a game that robust that can run off of PCs could yeah. actually run on your Xbox One, right? And they yeah. made sure that no one was left behind. Is that foresight in thinking about the consumer? And when people say, "Oh, Phil Dominus Maximus really expensive," first of his name did not say that game preservation is not real. That's game preservation. Yeah. That's keeping you in the ecosystem. That's letting you know when you brought this product, we don't have a console for you. That's that Donnie talk. No. Right. When you brought this console, it's going to carry forward. And when you're ready to make the leap, it's available for you. Mm -hmm. 